Hey folks, so it turns out I have been doing this whole YouTube thing wrong. I'm trying to focus on love and community and um, personal experience and personal relationships and personal growth and, and spiritual health and emotional health and, and maybe even dabbling in, in, in psychological health. Um, I've done videos about exercising. I've done videos about studying and reading. I've done videos about how to, how to start something new when you really don't want to start something new. I've done Sunday morning prayer services with my family where, where we say prayers and, and we, we worship. Apparently, I've been doing it wrong. There are, there are YouTube channels out there with hundreds of thousands of people subscribing to them and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people watching their videos like every day, every couple of days, whenever they release one. And those channels are filled with fear, filled with anger, filled with, with God's wrath and indignation, filled with how God is going to punish and God is going to storm and God is going to rage filled with how we need to be good and we need to pray more and we need to pray the right way and we need to pray with the right accent and we need to read from the right Bible. Now, of course, I'm being facetious. Quite honest, I love this channel. I love the fact that I get to spend this time with you and, 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 as, and as much as I can to interact with you in the comments and in your emails, I really do. I'm being absolutely sarcastic when I say this. I think I'm actually on the right track. I think we're on the right track. What I'm trying to get at though is that it turns out fear really sells. Fear and, and self-loathing, it really sells. And as a Christian, seeing the fact that hundreds of thousands of Christians are gravitating to channels where they are hearing a message of wrath and torment and suffering and pain. It's, it's troubling to me. It really, it really is painful to me. Because as a Christian, one of the things that I never understood, I mean, from the moment 15 some odd years ago that I decided I was going to walk this path, the moment that I came to the conclusion that Jesus did actually sacrifice himself for me so that I, despite all that I am and all that I did, could one day be in the presence of God, to live this life in the presence of God. It left. I'm not afraid of God. I'm not afraid of God's punishment or God's wrath. I'm not afraid of making a mistake. I'm not afraid of, make, of saying something that God's going to lose God's ever-loving mind over. That isn't who God is. And Jesus shows me that. Jesus' life, his teachings, Jesus' desire and willingness to sacrifice for me, his resurrection, his ascension, that teaches me the true character of God. And it's in that true character of God that I find my rest. It's in that true character of God that I find my peace. It's in that true character of God that I find my way, my life, my purpose, my call. We don't have anything to be afraid of. God is not vengeful. God is not wrathful. God wants his people. God wants you and I. God gave us Jesus so that we could see God's true essence and character. God's true nature. And it's nothing to be afraid of. It's building and encouraging and equipping and strengthening and empowering uplifting, merciful, loving, 
kind, compassionate. God is the God who gave life to the universe. I know why Christians are so afraid. Decades, decades of being taught that, oh, it's great that you have salvation. It's great that you found Jesus, but now you better be good. Now you better make sure that you walk the, the narrow path. Now you better make sure that you don't do anything wrong. Now you better make sure that you don't break any rules. God's wrath is not going to rain down upon us. God's punishment is not going to rain down upon us. God's vindictiveness is not going to rain down upon us. Jesus paid the price once for all. The wrath is satisfied. The way has been set in front of us. We are God's children. We are heirs to God's throne. There is no fear in Jesus Christ. And therefore there is no fear in God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. And I pray that you will always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that whatever fear has been offered to you, whatever fear has been taught to you, you'll begin to let it go. God loves you. Amen.